Hi everyone, Andy at Trade Skills for You, and I'm here with Steve today. And we're going to be showing you how to put a 90 degree bend in some metal conduit to go between two fixed points. Okay, Steve, over to you. Okay, thank you, Andy. Right, as Andy's just uh, described, we are going to put a piece of conduit between these two points. They are fixed, cannot be moved, and we want a nice horizontal piece of conduit going into a 90 degree bend going into a vertical piece of conduit there. So how do we do that? First things first is to mark the centre line of this from down here, up here, and I've already put the mark in there. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is measure from this box to the centre line, but our piece of conduit will obviously go beyond that to come down to the edge of the box there at the edge of the hole and for a 20 mil conduit it is 10 mil so I'm going to take a measurement and add 10 mil to it. Okay. So side of the box to the centre line and then add. Add 10, 10 mil. mil. Okay now these boxes were just put on the wall haven't been um, prescribed any particular distance and they've actually come in at 332 millimeters. Okay. Adding 10 millimetres to that makes 42? 42 millimetres, quite correct. So what I've got here is a piece of conduit, it's already threaded, and just to show you, that will go on there, and we're going to bend it, so it'll come down there, and we will not have to adjust the length of that. Okay. Okay, so first things first, going to measure it, so we're going to put it in the bending machine like that, as it were, measure a length. So first things first, okay, I'll get that ready there, let's just measure that. So from the end of there, 342, so there's my mark, okay, okay. yep, thank you Andrew, okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just bring that through there. And put that into the stop pen down there. Okay, so where, I've got my line, but where do I align it with? So I know where the bend is going to be in the right place. Mm -hmm. What we do is get another piece of conduit, and here I'm using an engineering square, but any true right angle will do. What we do, we put this into the bottom of the former with the engineering square like that that goes in there and you want this I'm going to bring that down there okay I'm going to look for my mark which is just on the side here okay. and what we want is for the edge of the back of this conduit here yeah to line up with that line there, but it's got to be at right angles to our piece there. So there we go, so I need to just bring it back slightly. There we go. So there's a line there, the end of this conduit here is in alignment with a mark that's there, okay, yeah. and this preserves the 90 degrees. Okay. So that's where I'm going to bend it. Right. And that should then place this so that it would fit exactly there. Let's hope it does. We shall see. Okay, so 90 degrees. Now it's best to underbend it rather than overbend it. Again, push down on the conduit. Push at the same forward. time. Once it's going, it's, just it's a lot easier. We just come back a bit, have a look. Is that roughly 90? Okay, probably need slightly more in that, Andrew. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask you a question now. Okay. What if this was longer so that it went into the floor and I couldn't bend it? <laughs> How would you get around that, Andrew? Cut it down first. And it won't be long enough. Ah. You've got me on that, Steve. Okay, what you would actually do is you actually bend it from below upwards. Ah. Do it that way. So let's see if that's 90 degrees or not. Okay, I must put the bending arm down. Oh. Right, Andrew, what we need to ascertain is whether or not that... You've got a right angle. ...is a right angle. Okay. okay. And we do that by...? Well, the easiest way is to find 
a natural right angle somewhere such as a table top, a work top or any right angle over there. Here I could use the corner of the board there, yeah. either the internal of a ceiling like that or I'm going to use here and I'll put that edge of against there and against the top there and you know what? Pretty looks spot on that does. We are absolutely bob on on that one. Yeah. However, what would you do if it was, wasn't enough in it Just or too much? Put it back on the former. If it was on, you could, if it was significantly out, you would put it in the former again and just use the leverage of the arm to bring it down. Okay. If it's only a very small amount, what you can do is you stand on it uh -huh. work and it. you just do a little yeah. tweak. You don't need a lot of leverage and it will actually move it slightly for you, either out or in. Yeah. So let's put the coupling on there. So the next thing we need to do, we offer it up here and we need to ascertain what length this needs to be. Okay, a number of students actually make the mistake of trying to do this by eye. They think they've got it, okay, and depending on your view, you could be too high or too low. Yeah. Um, if you're too high, not such a big deal because you can always cut some more off. But if you're too low, and you cut it, yeah, yes. Okay, so what you need to do is get yourself a small bolt level or a small spirit level, put it on your tube, making sure that that is in the right place there. And if you are true, that should be dead center of that, yeah, which it is anyway. Okay, so that's there. Okay, have a pen handy. Just mark it. So you're marking it out of the top of the box there? Yeah. So what I'm going to do next... ...is adjust that for the fact that we need to put a coupling on there. On. Yeah. OK. I'm going to cut it, thread it, and it should just fit perfectly there. Question is... Do we fit a saddle or not? Uh, will that depend on the distance between the two points? It does really, yeah. In this particular case, it's, a, it's only a small section there. And when these are tightened up, it okay. will be quite a good yeah. um, mechanical uh, and structural fit. If you wanted to have belt and braces, you probably could put one there or there. Mm. Okay. okay. Which you would fix prior to putting this on. So what I'll do now, I'll now cut that, thread it, and... Uh, fasten it up. Fasten it up. Okay, I'm just finishing up the tightening of this bush. There we go, handy. Okay, and you can see it's quite robust and tight. You don't want any uh, looseness. There's no thread showing again. As I said before, depending where it is, if this was high up, you would probably wouldn't need a saddle, but if it's low down and, you know, you might get yeah. the odd comedian, as it were, to have a <laughs> swing in it, but put yourself a saddle there and there. Saddles just one. Just one would be fine. Just one would be there. there. I would put it there, actually. Just there. Steve, thanks very much. There we go, everyone. A 90 degree in metal conduit. I hope you've liked the video. If you have, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.